Wait, it's invisible! Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Serana, here we are at Winterhold College. This is where I got my start when I first came to Skyrim. Now come on, let's get you out of the sunlight. We need to talk to Urag. He would know if there was a moth priest anywhere around. He knows just about everything. Can I help you, Archmage? I'm not the Archmage anymore, but thank you. All right, this way. So I've given the Archmage duties over to Tolfdir, so that I could explore Skyrim. And where did Serana go? Over here, Serana. I was saying I gave over the um, Archmage duties to Tolfdir so that I could explore Skyrim and embrace my legacy as the Dragonborn. Your egg? Hello, friend. I need to find a moth priest. A moth priest? What in oblivion do you need a moth priest for? Well, could you just tell me what I need to know? Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priests make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragonbridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. All right. Thank you. Why is everyone standing around? Get back to work. Or your studies, or whatever it is you do. Come on, Serana. All right, it is so dark here. Is there a place we can stay? Well, I guess you like it like this. Excuse me. Working hard gives a man reason for drinking hard. Well, that and putting up with a wife like mine. Do you know anything about a moth priest visiting Dragon Bridge? Nah, I don't think so. Well, it sounds like you're having some trouble with your wife. Her name's Olda. If you've met her, then you probably already know what I'm talking about. I swear that woman is the most spiteful shrew in all of Skyrim. I think there's a chunk of ice where her heart ought to be. Well, good luck. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? I am. But I was hoping I... you could tell me about the Moth Priest, but apparently you can't. Alright, let's keep moving. Excuse me. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. All right, you can't help me either. Let's go here in the inn. Why, good evening. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. All right, it doesn't look like you can help me either, but I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. It's a bit late, Serana. I'm gonna go ahead and get some sleep. Then we can question these people in the morning. 
Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you. Well, I hope you got some sleep, too. Come on, let's go. Sorry about the daylight. Excuse me. Oh, Alda. Have you met my husband? Well, don't bother. He's a drunk. So he's drinking too much. He promised me, swore on his ancestors, that he'd give up the mead. And what do I find out? He's been stashing drink in a cave nearby. He even has some wolves guarding it. Really? I swear. I should just cut out his tongue. That would be the end of it. All right, well, tough luck. It's not luck. It's mead I'm cursing. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is it? Well, I think I talked to you already. Let's go. There's an Imperial, um... Oh, it's the Penitus Oculus. Let's see if they know something. Commander Morrow, it's I'll good to see sure you. I'll make sure the Emperor himself hears of all you've accomplished. You've made Skyrim a better place. Well, thank you. I'll make sure the Emperor himself hears of all you've accomplished. You've made Skyrim a better place. I appreciate that. Hello, sir. Greetings. I bring word to you from Emperor Titus Mede himself. Mede? Isn't it Mead? Greetings. I bring word to you from Emperor Titus Mede himself. Okay, thank you. Agent? Citizen? Alright, it looks like we're getting nothing here. Let's go. All right, I think we've questioned al almost everyone here. All right, um... We'll check out the other side of the bridge. Maybe there's some guards over there that might know something about a moth priest. Come on. I'll go over here to this other bridge. Oh, what's this? Look at all this blood. What happened here? It's an Imperial soldier. What? A vampire? It looks almost exactly like you, Serana. And here's a note. I have new orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of Dragon Bridge. Take the Moth Priest to the Forebear's Holdout for safekeeping until I can break his will. Signed, Malchus. to follow this blood trail. All right, let's go. Oh no, there's been another attack. a journal. I begged my husband not to go, 
but he just wouldn't listen. He said if he delayed the shipment even another week, the Legion would find someone else to take it south. Let them keep their blasted money. The road to Whiterun is dangerous these days. Everyone knows it. So many caravans have been attacked. So many travelers vanished into thin air. Some say it's only bandits, but there are rumors of worse. Goblins, ghosts, witches. Twenty years we've been married now, and I can't bear the thought of losing him. I'm not letting him go alone, not this time. We live or die together. Mara, preserve us. Oh, no. And she died. And where is her husband? It's only her. Oh, this is terrible. All right, Serana, let's keep going. Look at this, there's blood stains. So is this the moth priest that's been this badly injured? If so, he probably isn't gonna live much longer. What, what's this? Is this some sort of a signal? Hmm. It's almost as though the... It was pointing to this cave. Some sort of a beam. Interesting. I don't know what it, it does exactly. All right, Serana, come on. All right, we're headed into Four Bears Holdout. some sort of an energy curtain. Oh, look. Someone's patrolling down there as well. All right, let's let's do this silently. Is that a Looks like a death hound. There's two of them. Oh! Got it. Oh, it looks like my destruction abilities have finally reached their apex. magic of poisoning has finally been reversed totally. I think I still need my uh, restoration to be uh, increased, but other than that, I'm almost as good as new. Let's do this from a distance. 
Serana! Serana, get him! Oh, he's down. Wait, whose side is he on? Blooded vampire? What does that mean? Is that your creation? Alright, anyhow. Malchus is dead. Take this waystone. Focus. Amulet of the gargoyle. While wearing this amulet, you summon gargoyle. Your summon gargoyle spell summons an additional gargoyle. Well, I'll probably sell this. Just getting jumped. Look, who's this? Serana! Oh! Serana! Serana! You are not helping! There you go! Thank you! Wait, it's invisible! miss you because you are not helpful at all. All right. Where's that vampire? No, it's, where's that ash pile? Summon a gargoyle, and not not one of you lifted a finger to help me. Okay, I can sell that. Is someone in there? I think it's the moth priest. That's a pretty insidious trap. Okay, I think this might release him. But my master is dead. No! He's ensorcelled! He's over here. Let demon that springs, oh, from fonts unseen, be encased in prison, crystalline. Yes, got him. Now I've got to free him. What? He resisted. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold over me. Well, you almost had the better of me. I owe you a debt for the timely rescue. Well, you're welcome. And are you all right? <sighs> I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White uh -huh. Gold Tower. You are the moth priest. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. Well, I happen to know why they needed you, because we need you for the same purpose. You do? 
All right then, enough mysteries. We're called the Dawn Guard, and we need you to read an Elder Scroll. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. You can find us at Fort Dawn Guard near Stendar's Beacon. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. All right. I think we're done here, Serana. What now? I think we need to change, uh... the way you react to things. All right, then. There. Okay, let's go. Oh, the Moth Priest has beaten us here. No. Try to avoid that. Is Ran? <laughs> I'm impressed you could find a Moth Priest so quickly. Does he have the scroll? Is everything ready? For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. Alright, so I... I'm assuming he's going to be reading the Dragon Scroll that I had in my possession. Because Serana's sitting over there with her scroll on her back. Alright, so Dexia... Oh, hello there. Hello. I'm glad you made it here safely. Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. Have my companions made you feel welcome? It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to. What? But your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. Okay. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. All right, well, are you prepared to read the Elder Scroll? Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me, an image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy. Recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Isran? I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. All right, well, you heard the scroll reading. Now do you believe, Serana? I heard a lot of vague nonsense. You could interpret that a hundred different ways. Only thing that stood out for me was Ariel's bow. That's a powerful weapon, and I sure as oblivion don't want the vampires to get hold of it. The Moth Priest can stay here for now. As for the vampire, I still don't trust it. So keep it on a leash. I'm not sure I really agree with your attitude, but... Can 
Can you tell me more about the old Dawn Guard? Only what I've heard. Back in the second era, the Jarl of Riften had a son. Adventurous type. Too much for his own good, it seems. Wound up turning into a vampire. The Jarl, unable to kill his own son, spent a fortune building this keep and hiring men to guard it. Their job was to keep the Jarl's son contained within. They took it seriously, and served honorably. They were eventually forced to put him down. The Jarl banished them from the hold, but they stuck to their cause. Fought vampires wherever they found them. I aim to continue that mission. All right, very well. Keep your eyes open. Serana? Serana, there's no running in here. Do you want to see me about something? Do you have a moment to talk? Um, yes, what's on your mind? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Okay, well... I'm not sure if you could have said anything much earlier. Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father, and that's saying something. Do you trust Harkon at all? It's not a question of trust. He's just obsessed with the prophecy. And from what I could tell, a thousand extra years of obsession haven't made him any better. We should have found him a hobby. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. Okay, well, I'm sorry to... talk about such a touchy subject. Um, so where is the Elder Scroll? We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. You said you didn't know where she went. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Sounds like she was being cautious. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Um, why would you think I would know? Maybe she was sealed away like you were. I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. It had to be one of us, and, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. Really? It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? Hiding with the Dawn Guard? They'd be even less welcoming to her than they've been to me. It would have been a bloodbath. And since the Dawn Guard are still around, that must not have happened. Any other ideas? Seriously? In Castle Volgahar? Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Isn't that pretty risky, staying around the castle? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. They aren't going to let us use the front door, you know. True, but I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. All right, well, let's go to the castle's secret entrance. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. All right, but before we do, I do need to make some preparation if we're going back to Volgahar. I mean, the way I was humiliated and cast out of the castle, and that I know that it's filled with vampires, I've got to be prepared. So let's go, and let me prepare. <laughs> 